The battlefield of the 2030s is shaping up to be a place where anything loud, hot, or easy to detect gets hunted within minutes, maybe seconds. And in a world saturated with cheap drones, high-resolution thermal sensors, and constant overhead surveillance, the most important design requirement for armor might no longer be pure firepower, but the ability to remain unseen. That's where Hyundai Rotom's new K3 stealth tank comes in, and it's not an exaggeration to say that this thing looks more like someone combined a next-generation main battle tank with shaping cues from the B-21 Raider. This is a concept meant to solve the hardest problem in modern land warfare, surviving in a battle space where everything is being watched all the time. Hyundai Rotom's approach centers around stealth shaping, hydrogen propulsion, an AI-driven fire control, an attempt to design a tank capable of operating in a drone-saturated battlefield without immediately becoming a target. The K3 aims to push armored warfare into the coming decades with better off-road mobility, greater efficiency, and dramatically reduced heat and acoustic signatures. And those signature reduction goals aren't optional, they're essential for a modern tank's survival. To start, the K3 is a hydrogen-powered stealth main battle tank intended to push armored warfare into the coming decades with better off-road mobility, greater efficiency, and far lower thermal and acoustic signatures. And those signature reduction goals aren't optional, they're essential for surviving a drone-heavy battlefield. But perhaps the most significant capability involves what NextGen Defense highlighted in their reporting. The K3 incorporates an AI-enabled fire control system that can reportedly destroy targets out to five miles. That's a massive engagement envelope for a tank, and it signals an important shift. Tanks aren't just brawling machines anymore, they're becoming long-range, networked hunter-killers that need to see and shoot faster than anything else on the ground. Visually, the external configuration looks fundamentally different from what we're used to. Instead of the traditional, jagged, angular turret geometry seen on most modern tanks, the K3 uses smooth, blended shaping. The turret chassis transition is flatter, cleaner, and more aerodynamic. You don't see the usual clutter of protruding edges, exposed hardpoints, or harsh angles that reflect radar energy. That flowing design almost resembles the stealth language we see in the B-21 Raider, flattened surfaces, wider curves, and a more horizontal profile that naturally diffuses radar returns. Even small differences like this matter when the enemy's radar, drone optics, and infrared systems are constantly scanning for signatures. Beyond shape, there are stealth elements we simply can't see. That includes radar-absorbent materials, rubbery ram coatings, composite layers, and electromagnetic dampening structures woven into the tank's body. Quieting technologies are likely embedded as well, limiting mechanical noise, and thermal management is critical. If you can reduce the amount of heat a tank produces, especially in a world where cheap commercial drones carry high-end infrared sensors, you dramatically reduce detectability. This is where the hydrogen power plant becomes such a significant part of the K3's identity. Hydrogen propulsion naturally generates far less heat than a traditional diesel engine. It also runs much quieter. In a sensor-rich battlefield, those two qualities alone can mean the difference between a tank that gets spotted from the air and one that survives long enough to fight. Now let's talk weapons. The K3 is armed with a 130mm smoothbore gun larger than the 120mm standard on most NATO tanks, and it's designed to operate from an unmanned turret. It can carry anti-tank guided missiles as well, giving it an extended engagement range. A remote weapon station is mounted under armor, capable of integrating everything from .50 caliber crew serve systems to 30mm weapons. Renderings show the tank is engineered with survivability in mind. Because the turret is unmanned and all major systems are controlled remotely, the entire three-person crew remains fully protected inside the armored hull. There's no gunner sticking out of a turret ring, no exposed commander's position, and no vulnerable topside opening that drones or top attack munitions can easily exploit. 
This matters enormously in the context of Ukraine. We've learned something very clear from that war. The front and sides of tanks are heavily armored, but the top is still a significant vulnerability. Modern drones, loitering munitions, and cheap FPV systems target that weak point. Removing the human presence from the turret removes one of the tank's most exposed and historically deadly positions. Now let's get into the future focus part, AI-enabled command and control. An AI-capable system inside the K3 would dramatically speed up target processing. Instead of a human staring through optics trying to identify, track, and assess threats, AI handles the initial data intake. It analyzes what the sensors are seeing, verifies the target, and offers firing solutions faster than any human could. That isn't replacing the crew, it's giving them superhuman reaction speed. A tank that identifies threats faster is a tank that survives. AI also opens the door to something Hyundai Rotom emphasizes heavily, manned-unmanned teaming. Tanks traditionally struggle with visibility, situational awareness, and reconnaissance, but with unmanned ground vehicles or aerial drones working ahead of the formation, the K3 could extend its reach far beyond its own line of sight sensors. Drones could scout the next ridgeline, search for ambushes, resupply ammunition, or even execute strikes under human supervision. If you multiply that across an armored platoon, you get an entirely different way of operating, one where tanks are never blind and never alone. Mobility is another key point in the K3's design. Modern tanks are powerful, but they're also extremely heavy. They struggle to cross certain bridges, to transit narrow urban pathways, and to keep pace with fast-moving infantry and complex terrain. The K3 aims to break that pattern. A lighter, more agile platform with higher mobility gives armored forces a way to maneuver through environments where traditional heavy armor simply can't go. And all of this points to a larger question. Does the K3 represent the next evolution of tanks? There are several reasons why the K3's engineering makes tactical sense. Ukraine has demonstrated three major truths about modern armored combat. First, dismounted troops armed with relatively cheap anti-armor weapons can destroy expensive tanks. Second, drones can find armored vehicles from almost any angle. But third, and this is crucial, heavy armor still plays an essential role. Even with the rise of portable anti-tank systems, tanks continue to be the decisive tool for closing with enemy mechanized units and taking ground. And holding ground still matters. A drone can destroy a vehicle. A missile can deny terrain. But only a tank can sit in contested territory and physically control it. So the logic becomes clear. Tanks are not obsolete. They just need to evolve. They need to become harder to detect, harder to target from above, better networked, and far more flexible in how they operate with drones and autonomous elements. During a recent arms show in Poland, National Security Journal visited the K3 booth and photographed the model. Even from those images, the design philosophy is unmistakable. This is a tank engineered for a battlefield where every move is tracked, where thermal cameras create constant overhead coverage, and where top-down drone attacks define the threat landscape. The real test will come when prototypes move from concept to live trials. Performance, reliability, AI integration, and battlefield effectiveness will determine whether the K3 becomes a genuine game changer or simply a forward-leaning experiment. But the direction it points us is impossible to ignore. Stealth is no longer just for aircraft. AI is no longer optional. And manned-unmanned teaming is no longer theoretical. The K3 is a sign of where armored warfare is heading, toward a future where the best tank may not be the toughest one, but the one the enemy can't find, can't detect, and can't kill before it completes its mission.